Every hour, the average cell creates over one million proteins that we need to live. But as artists and scientists know, and yes, even actors, not every creation is a masterpiece. Our next laureates discovered the cellular system that decides when a new production needs to be pulled. To introduce them, please welcome YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, Breakthrough Prize co-founder and CEO of 23andMe and Wojcicki, I'll get it right, and five-time Olympic gold medalist swimmer Katie Ledecky. My sister and I are honored to stand here with this remarkable athlete. As her record shows, Katie knows what it takes to win a race. Science can also become a race, but thankfully one in which, in the end, everybody wins. It's an honor to be standing on this stage with you two remarkable women. As an athlete, you need competitors to bring the best out of you. That splash on the edge of my peripheral vision means a rival is closing. That's often what it takes to surpass your own limits. Which brings us to our next two winning scientists and the gold medal worthy breakthrough that they share. Through their race to new discoveries over a decade, our next laureates uncovered the extraordinary process known as the unfolded protein response. Chaos. The world is chaos in the molecular scale. It's constant movement, random collisions, but somehow order comes out of this process. Kazu Mori and my lab, we pretty much went parallel in this discovery. We made independent discoveries. Then we sort of marched down the path of discovery in lockstep. Competition is very severe. No fear, no surprise, no suspicion, and no hesitation. Even though opponent uh, looks big, stronger, big guy uh, uh, moving faster, uh, like a, even Peter is a big guy, but even though opponent looks so great, just go straight. We make first discovery of uh, rule or system in cell, or our body. We discovered an absolutely unique and unpredictable mechanism, the unfolded protein response. Protein as a machine pretty much does all the reactions in a cell that make life possible. Protein must have its own structure. It's constantly changing shapes. The idea is to be in the correct shape to carry out the function. Sometimes, Protein spontaneously misfold, it can cause various diseases. If we can inhibit, stop this UPR, we may be able to kill cancer cells. This field moved dramatically forward because of this competition with Peter Walter. Looking into the unknown, it's sometimes scary. You have no idea where you're going. We are explorers that have to figure out how nature evolved things and how they work. It's very difficult to go to the, your own goal by directly. But our DNA is helix, double helix. So if you keep your head looking up, maybe you go around in a circle sometimes, but someday you reach the goal. For describing a cellular quality control system that detects disease-causing unfolded proteins and triggers corrective measure, the Breakthrough Prize is awarded to Kazu Toshimori and Peter Walter. 
Kazutoshi Mori enjoys being an instructor in Kendo, a modern Japanese martial art using bamboo swords and protective armor. Peter Walter is a man of science and art. When he's not exploring molecules, he's building sculptures as tall as he is. I wanted to be a PhD scientist from my childhood. At the beginning, I wanted to study particle physics, but I met molecular biology when I was a freshman at Kyoto University, which fascinated me. After graduation, I had a permanent job as a biochemist, but I, uh, at age 30, I decided to quit that job and came to the United States to learn molecular biology. It's a new endeavor with no promise of success, but my wife, Sachiko, said yes to my decision and supported me throughout. And then I really, uh, met a really interesting project called Unfold Protein Response. Nearly 30 years uh, uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas, in 1989. Since then, nearly 30 years, I received breakthrough through prize. It's a Japanese version of American dreams. Thank you very much. Well, what an incredible moment. As biologists, we decipher the fundamental principles of life. And it's really, it's a fascinating job to figure out how living cells accomplish their tasks, these amazing tasks. And from that, we can learn in the, what goes wrong in disease and what goes wrong as we age. Our work increases knowledge with the goal to reduce human suffering. And I really thank uh, uh, the founders of this amazing award for shining the spotlight on the value of discovery in all of us, all of you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much.